I'm Graham Colton, this is the Jones Assembly, and we're in downtown Oklahoma City. We're really excited to have the Wallflowers, Better Than Ezra, make a stop on their tour this summer, July 29th, and uh, we just couldn't be more excited that they chose us as one of their actually pretty few concert dates this summer. We're really excited, this is our first show. These are two of my favorite bands. I've toured with these guys, I've written songs with Better Than Ezra, and um, to have them be our first inaugural show is just really special. Well, the Jones Assembly is a really unique space. We uh, were given just an incredible historic building um, by Fred and Kirk Hall. And being a part of the original Fred Jones assembly plant um, is just really special for us. And the minute we were given this building to work with, we realized that this had to be much more than just music. Um, we just saw so many opportunities to do more. And as we got in here and started just dreaming what this could be, um, food became something that we just knew we had to really knock out of the park. And when our partner, Brittany Sanger, um, joined our team and we convinced her to move back from Boston, um, we just really felt like we had the concept, we had the team in place, um, myself, Brian Bogert, and Brittany, um, along with Fred and Kirk Hall. Um, it just, things started to really feel right and started to work. So the Jones Assembly is, is gonna be food, spirits, and music in that order. Um, music is gonna be a, a constant throughout. You're gonna see um, different types of performers, happy hour, Saturdays, Sundays even, um, all the time. You're gonna see and hear different types of music throughout the space, whether upstairs in our uh, tea room cocktail lounge, which we have an assortment of vinyl records up there with a custom record player where people can come in and play their favorite vinyl or choose from one of our favorites. Um, or we have a huge big screen that we're gonna play black and white concert footage during dinner service. Um, but from a national touring, national act perspective, that's going to happen two, three times a month. We're going to really have, you know, blown out big shows that we shut everything down, um, 1,600 people crammed in this place two, two, three times a month. That's going to be really fun. But for the most part, we're open, you know, all the time uh, for, uh, for lunch and dinner and brunch as well. Well, this is one of the many things that the Jones Assembly um, kind of hangs our hat on these you know we really got passionate about the small details and we had this big space and we didn't really know what to do with it and we thought well what if we did an art installation um, and so we decided to buy I'll say curate uh, our own custom eight tracks and what that really means is I had to scour uh, Oklahoma and our surrounding areas for every person that was selling old eight track tapes. And so boxes and boxes and truckloads of eight track tapes that we, that we found and stripped, painted, and then we had, um, we had custom labels printed on them that can rotate and we can make different designs and different things happen um, whenever we want it. So that, what you see behind me just sort of represents the first design um, and so as you come into the Jones Assembly at different times, you'll see different, different designs rotating. I'm just so proud. We're all proud of what the Jones Assembly is and how we got here and the people that are involved. We have an amazing team. And I think the, the thing that is really cool for me personally is I moved back in 2007 from being on the road. And everybody that's a part of the Jones Assembly, the entire team, have they're dedicated to Oklahoma City, and they've, they've been traveling and they've come back. And I think that it's just really special that this place represents people that have gone away, learned, experienced things, and they're taking all those things um, back to Oklahoma City. We love that. And so I walk in here every day with my partners, Brian and Brittany, and we're just really proud because we know that this city will support a place like this to do all kinds of different things and we just can't wait to unveil it. We're excited to open this place uh, mid-June and um, we are on the home stretch 
of putting the final pieces in place. We can't wait for our first show. We're excited to have the Dead Center Film Festival kickoff party here May 20th. But after that, we're going to get ready um, for uh, lunch, dinner, and brunch. <laughs>